we were talking all about doing a life audit, really looking at life and going, is this where I should be? Is this what God wants of me? Am I really walking in the right path and focusing on the right things? And so I've been thinking about that. I've been praying about that. And I've got five goals that I want to set for myself going into this new year. After thinking about this life audit and where I'm at and where God's calling me and, and what really matters in life, so these are the five areas I really want to put a focus and a priority to, and I think they might help you as well. Hey friends, I'm Heidi with Heavenly Minded Home, and this past year I put the self-imposed goal on myself to put out a video each and every day, and we are just about done with that challenge which has been super duper exciting. So we've got a very special podcast coming out tomorrow morning and a special video on Sunday to ring in that 365. So be sure to be back here for those. But this week has been whew, not quite what I thought it was going to be as our family all got incredibly, incredibly sick, but I am trying desperately to start regaining a little bit of strength as we get feeling a little bit better, minus the I haven't washed my hair in a couple days and whatever. But I was talking about a life audit yesterday about what matters in life and where I'm prioritizing and what we're doing and what matters and really praying through that and thinking through that and where I think I should be spending my time, my attention, right? These things really keep standing out at me that this is a priority for my life and I'm really excited for this and I want to share with you guys that it might be something that can encourage you all as well as it is our goal here in this next year to find a hundred thousand other sisters in Christ that say, yes, I want to be encouraged. I want to be equipped. And so if you want to join the 57,000 some odd of us that have already said, yes, let's be together. Let's be that community. Let's be those like-minded believers digging in to live for the Lord. Then be sure you hit that subscribe button to come and join join us in this. The first thing that really stands out to me, of, of course, in all of this is my Bible time, right? Just that time in the word each and every day. And I want to invite you guys to come and join us. I, I'm trying to finish getting feeling better, but be on the lookout in the beginning of January because we are going to do a read through the entire Bible plan together here in our membership group. And I'm going to put it all together for you guys. I'll give you all the details of it. But if you guys would be interested in, in reading your Bible cover to cover, sitting down, taking the first three months of this year and really digging in and studying God's word, um, comment down below. Let me know if you guys would be interested because I'm really excited to put this together and it's definitely a priority I want to set for myself. Um, and so hopefully it can be one that would be um, something that you would want to come and join in for as well. The next thing is to simplify home. Um, being sick and everybody, even my poor husband's feeling really overwhelmed with it all right now just because we've all been so sick. But going, you know what? I love simplifying. I feel like we're constantly doing it. But just different times of life call for different levels of simplicity. And um, we're noticing a lot around that we're like, you know what? I think it's time to simplify that. I think it's time to change or scale back or to do this or fix that. And um, that's something I really want to work on in the new year. And um, if, if that can be a help for you, something you're like, oh, my house, I feel like it's eating me alive sometimes. Like, yes, I need to simplify. Let me know because I think we're going to be working on that. <laughs> The third thing that really stands out to me is I talk about lovely living so often, about truly seeing life for as lovely as it is, regardless of our situation. God's gifted us a day and that's amazing. And pursuing joy in my day, right? Life can get so busy, get so hectic. You're, you're always doing something. You always got something going on right between the kids, your husband, for us, ministry, work, YouTube, right? All the different things. There's always something going on. And, um, I want to be intentional about pursuing joy in my life and, and the little things and the, this, this little teeny tiny luxuries that just mean so much to us. Not because, you know, the world says so or something like that, just because they bring us joy and, and, and a peace and, and excitement. And so that's something that I really want to focus on this year as well. And the last two things really go hand in hand. And these are all things that I want to continue to talk about in our videos and, and share about with things that we can do to help lift one another up in all of these areas. But presence in my marriage 
I think that's one that can so easily just kind of, you know, you get busy, get going and everybody's got their things and we do so much together, but you're just not necessarily present in just that time together. My husband and I are coming up on 20 years of marriage this spring and I just really want to see us both be present this year to focus on that and be intentional. And then of course that, you know, kind of second hand of that is presence with my children. They're growing so fast. Our youngest turns six in the next couple weeks and our oldest is going to be 20 at the end of this year. I mean, it's just, there's so much. I want to be present. I don't want to be busy and rushed and just, yeah, 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 you know, kind of going through the motions. I want to be there. And I, I want to soak that in as best as I can. And so for me, those are five areas this year that I really want to focus on. I really want to make intentional steps towards. And again, I, I, I plan to continue to share, like I said, we're going to do the Bible study. I love talking about home and just marriage and children and just what it means to live for the Lord and to and be a woman that invests in the eternal. And so again, if, if that's something that just encourages you and you're like, yes, please come and join us because that's what we're going to be focusing on. I think here, the more I've been praying over these things, the more these areas just really stand out to me. And I can't wait to share more with you guys as the Lord just kind of brings us all through this journey of life. So we're still not fully recovered yet. I'm going to go get some rest, but I pray that this can be an encouragement for you here today. I'm going to leave you with a little something else that I think you'll appreciate and be sure to turn on those bell notifications and join us right back here tomorrow for that special podcast. And then Sunday for the big 365. (laughs) I can't believe we've done it. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye friends.